Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be refitting my diff and brand new gearbox back into the 34. Finally got all the parts here on time. Massive thank you to Ashley for stuffing around a bit the Sabo and picking the diff up for me. Made everything today possible. This video is going to be very all over the place. You'll be like, wait, that didn't happen then. But what we're doing is we have just come from working on the car and we're on our way to pick up some gearbox oil from Super Cheap. So it's going to get some diff slash gearbox oil, um, just some Penrite GL5, topple that up because the gearbox comes with about two and a half, three litres of oil in it. So we're going to get some oil, get all that done, and then we're going back putting the exhaust back on and the car should be done. So this will be at the start of the video, but we've already actually done all the work and we recorded bits and pieces that you will see, but you won't see the whole process. Like I've said in previous videos, you've seen me pull that gearbox in and out multiple times. So no point showing that all over again, but the gearbox is in, diff's in, tail shaft's in. We had to make some slight modifications to the tail shaft. We had to get a R34 turbo rear section and we swapped that over with the NA section which was slightly smaller in diameter and slightly shorter so we've stopped all that over which I explain a bit later on but you'll find that out um, all over it was a quite easy swap it didn't really take a lot of work and I think we started maybe just over an hour ago and it's all pretty much fallen into place so it's been good it's been a nice quick and easy swap over which is always a good thing uh, especially when you're buying parts you don't know the history of a lot of the time they just don't fit as you expect them to but I'll stop talking and we'll let you guys crack on with the rest of the video did you put a tail shaft bolt in that? maybe Tom Tom's brand new gearbox Brand new R34 GTT gearbox. Well, there you go. There's all the technical shit. Yeah, more technical terms. But so like literally, so you've got what a 34 GTT gearbox. Yep. 33 tail shafts. This just blows my mind. This is only the reason why I'm like saying. And then what would you say? 34 turbo diff. I love how Nissan has made a car where anything is very like interchangeable. Pretty much everything fits apart from the rear half of the tail shaft. But the cool thing about tail shaft and looking is they have that joint in the middle so it's the same as the rear half. True, which is not a lot of cars like that. So what you need is the rear half has to suit your diff and the front half has to suit your gearbox. So the front half suits your gearbox, the rear half suits your diff, so it all makes that. I mean, does it though? Because 33 to 34? So this section Are you meaning just as long as it reaches? Yeah. Okay. So this section is 34 turbo. Oh, I think you're saying this is 33. That one's 33. Oh, so the front's 33, yeah. then turbo 34 where he had an NA34. Was it NA34? Yeah. Right. So the NA34, if anyone has guidelines and wants to know, the NA34 does not reach to a turbo disc if you've got the 33 front. Because the turbo diffs have the extra sensor on the nose, which makes them slightly longer. And the turbo ones don't. Those sensors move back to ABS wheels. So we meant NA, you said turbo and turbo. Yeah. NA longer, turbo shorter. Okay. Just something like that. Cool. But, yeah, a lot of parts on this things are interchangeable, which is a great thing about them. Right. I think that's why I like. I mean, I used to be a big Subaru WRX fan, and now um, I'm on the of the new Skyline. Mainly because Easy Power. I mean, better reliability than Subaru. Yeah, but you didn't really have to change the gearbox. You did fix it. The diff definitely had to be fixed. But that was also an inevitable way. Both of them were bound to happen. Yeah. I might just do like a shameless self promo because someone had to go get Tom's diff today. Well, didn't have to. Someone just wanted his car done. And that someone was me. And I mean, I. Mm, 
It was literally only like, what, 20, I will say half an hour down the road. Because I finished tape, went straight to his house. Had to try and get a diff in my car alone. Struggled very hard. But I did it. Let's just hope my back isn't sore tomorrow. You'll be fine. It's only, it's only weigh like 40,000 kilos. <laughs> um, but yeah, and now we're here. And now it's nearly done. Let's hope nothing else goes wrong. But we'll see. Anyway, yeah, so the shameless self, self promo. Um, follow my Instagram. <laughs> because why not? I'll get Tom to link it down below. If he doesn't. Or if he doesn't even use this part. He might not. He probably won't. Dope. Okay, see ya. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Looks so much cleaner on the camera than in person. <laughs> So, I think we're all done. I just put the shifter back in, and just with feeling the shifter in the car, I went ahead and I actually bought a brand new shifter, <coughs> as well as the gearbox. And it's crazy to feel that's what that car would have felt like in the transmission when it came out 20 years ago. And the difference between my old gearbox is insane. It feels incredible. So I'm definitely glad I went that route and got all new parts. Massive thank you to Kudos for supplying those parts if you do need any old Japanese parts, any old Nissan parts, even Subaru stuff they do, um, definitely hit up Kudos because they can almost get you anything. It's crazy the parts that they can still get a hold of, so if you need parts, hit them up. Boy. Oh, she's moving. The diff isn't going clunk clunk or bang. <laughs> Is someone smiling? It smells like eating five, I love it. Oh look at your grin. Sorry to end the video so abruptly, but this is the end. There's nothing left. I was actually really considering not uploading this video, just because the footage, there wasn't a lot of it. It was quite dark where we were working, so the lighting wasn't great, and whatever, it didn't look 100%. But a video is a video, and it kind of shows a little bit of the process what we had to do i didn't go super into detail um, if there is anyone else who is doing this kind of swap or is putting a diff in is putting a gearbox in, in their 34 or any of the other skylines um, just send me a message or whatever um, and can walk you through the kind of process it's pretty straightforward there's a few things to look out for but for the most part it's quite an easy job uh, really enjoyed doing it it was super quick didn't have to stuff around too much at all uh, thanks again to kudos for supplying all the parts uh, made it a very streamlined process and obviously thank you to Ashley for picking up my diff even though she didn't have to So this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I've got another video coming shortly with My conversion that I did on the 34 gearbox. So I went from pull type to push type Did the full conversion to suit my car and I'll explain why I did that how to do it um, And just all the kinds of ins and outs of this conversion There's a few videos out there, but I just kind of want to make my own so everyone can kind of get a better understanding if they want to do that conversion themselves. That video will be coming hopefully by the end of this week. I want to try to get both of these videos out during the week because we are going to the track with James who's been in a couple of videos with his WRX. He's going to be taking his Centura out. Well not his but his dad's Centura. He's going to be driving and it's going to be a good kind of test to see how the 34's come along. 34 makes 400 horsepower, 35. And the Centura makes, I think it's like 550, 600. So it'll be cool to see the differences between the cars now that I've got different diff, uh, diff ratios. And I'm taking my car in on Thursday to get a touch-up tune. So it'll be really cool to see how things come about and see how 400 horsepower holds up at the track. So I'm definitely excited to make more videos about the track. I love doing track videos. They're nice and easy to make. And it's cool for me to go back and watch. And they're, they're really cool videos. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. And... When we go to the track, we'll be seeing you then. Bye.